Okay, so welcome back everybody. We're going to program uh, the next uh, functions that we need to control the sounds in uh, Ableton. So let's begin. The Probably the next step is to start controlling the filters. That was our, our prerequisite, so let's go through. So we're in Glover, we've got our moves from before. The first thing I want to do is to program um, Damien over here, this one. So I feel like the most intuitive way for me to do that is to sort of like as if I was turning a dial, that's the movement. I'm gonna keep it pretty simple. Um, basically what I want from this is I wanna be able to turn it on and off easily very quickly that's the most important thing the second most important thing is the sensitivity so orientation roll that's the movement i was making yeah you can see now i'll just quickly set the in point and the out point so or the minimum i should say so the minimum when i want it completely off i want it to be fairly simple probably about there so that's without too much uh twist on my arm and then the max that's probably about as far as my arm goes without without discomfort max so i've got my min and my max and you can see in the pattern how they go excellent good the posture is going to be pinch just because it's a little bit easier than uh and safer than just doing an open hand because you might do it by accident it's very very likely that at some point in your track you'll do that so that's there that's responding nicely always check to make sure it's responding otherwise you may have some issues and after that, what else do we want? I think we want the movement to be forward. The direction should be forwards. Okay. Let me just check that it is indeed realizing that I'm forwards. Yep. It was pretty close. Now it's definitely there. So we've got our movement like that. Now we're having some issues with... It's actually not, not recognizing now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lose lose the forward okay let's just go with that so let's connect that up midi across so this is 23 it's alive damien dry wet click your midi make the move yep that has registered let's test it real quick Yep. Wonderful. That is super intuitive, super easy to turn on and off. Excellent. Uh, for the next one, we wanted the dry wet on the formant. So let's try that. I want to use the right hand for that as well. I'm feeling like for this track, I want sort of the left hand to be kind of the, uh, like the organizer and I want the right hand to be like the manipulator or the performer, you could say. But it is really up to you how you do it. So, input. We are going to do orientation this time is going to be pitch. We're going to go up and down. So, we can just test that. Now, I just need to move a little bit because I need more range on my arm. Yep, so you can see we've got some good movement in there. The posture for this will be puppet hand. So, make the puppet hand, make that go. Excellent, excellent. Let's do that one. Output, connect it up. MIDI, drag, 24 is the number. Excellent. To Ableton. Dry, wet. Make the move. There we go. We got it. It's going. Now, you're... I didn't set an in and an out point for that, and I should have, to be honest with you, because that's not turning all the way off. Or it is, but I have to put my hand almost backwards before I do. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say there. So I'm not even... A bit hard to see with the camera, but I'll just stand. It's not. It's like by my side. It's not even completely back. So that's the minimum. The max can be up here. So pretty much when my hand is next to my head. So... Let's just go back and test that now. That's much better. And you can tell when you play it. 
It's off. It's on. Wonderful. So that's also very nice and responsive now. I'm happy with that. Cool. Don't forget to save as you go because sometimes things happen. So I'll just do that on both of them. I was using my shortcut, but it wasn't doing what I wanted. Okay. Excellent. This is uh, probably a good time to talk about this thing here. So I will, uh, I'll, I'll program it in again because it's, it's maybe a little bit complicated if you've never seen it before. So just allow me to get myself together. So this is for our solo that we talked about as well. Um, over here, the sax solo. The track is armed. So I'll just show you how to do that from scratch. You go to note matrix, you do your move. And in our case, it was um, one finger point and orientation was pitch. So for, it works in my head that, you know, low notes down the bottom, high notes up the top, just pitch wise. So that's why I've done it um, with pitch. So let's go through. So I know the notes I want in there. Um, I want this, I want this. I think I want this as well. Yep. I don't want that. Okay, so those are my notes. So that's what I want to control with this movement. Now, I... Okay, so that's my highest note. So... Excellent. And that will work as long as this track is armed. <laughs> 